In problem 48 here, you're trying to find the charge of Q up at the top, which you do not know. And the only thing you do know is that you have two positive two nanocoulomb charges here and one positive um, charge in the middle that has a charge of one nanocoulomb. You're going to need to find the force that these two charges exert on this one. You're going to start by finding the distance from this charge to this charge. This is a simple Pythagorean theorem problem. You're going to find that distance to be 3.6 centimeters. You're going to take that distance and plug it into Coulomb's law here, where you have your K, your Q1, and your Q2, divided by your 30, uh, 3.6 centimeters, and this will give you the magnitude of that force vector. You still haven't found your r-hat vector, but we'll do that next. You're going to find your r-hat vector by taking the components of this force vector, which is 3 centimeters to the left and 2 centimeters up, and divide it by that, angle, that distance that you found earlier to be 3.6 centimeters. This will give you a unit vector here, which you multiply by the magnitude of that force. Now this is for the charge of 2 on 1. The charge of 3 on 1 will be found very easily, as you already know, that these two charges are the same and therefore they'll have the same force. The only thing that will change here is that, that you'll have a positive x component instead of a negative x component. And since these are, these are the same, they'll cancel each other out. That leaves you with um, a force only in the y direction. And here that is found by multiplying your original force that you found by your component in the y direction and you're multiplying by 2 because you have these two charges both exerting a force up in this direction. Now because this has a net charge of 0, you have to find what charge will balance this out. You're going to do that by plugging in this value here into Coulomb's law as your force. You have your K and your Q1 which is already known here and your distance between these which is 2 centimeters. You solve here for Q, and that gives you the final answer of 0.68 nanocoulombs.